Welcome back, everybody. We are Trek Yards. He is Commander Cook. He's Karu Foley. I am. And we're here today to talk about a ship, because we love ships. Is the Strange New World USS Farragut. And of course, being Kirk's first sort of ship of note, which we saw in Strange New Worlds in the last sort of little bit where we have the alternate universe scenes. Um, really good episode, really great thing. We see it a decent amount of episode, but Star Trek Online has, has now released the Farragut in full view. Thomas Moroni, the amazing uh, person at Star Trek Online, has provided stuff for us to look at in full detail and see do we like it as much as we did then? And what do you guys think? This, uh, this, uh, you know, kit bash, but famous kit bash, because we never knew what a Farragut was. People assumed it was obviously a Connie. In fan films, it's been used for a Connie for a long time now, but here is a, a, a not Miranda. Don't know, Stuart. First view, we'll get to all those a bit later. How do you feel now on this, uh, kit bash sort of ship, maybe? It's an interesting enough design. I just wish that one or two changes had been made, because I absolutely hate those curved struts. <laughs> Fortunately, in this view, you can't really tell too much. But this view is quite interesting, actually. It's the first time I kind of seen it like this. Mm -hmm. I like the 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 flector dish, the sensor dish. Uh, the way it's mounted is very similar to like the uh, Franz Joseph Saladin class or Saladin class. Mm -hmm. um, but I love that it doesn't come straight down and go forward. It kind of has that angle, and that looks really cool. Glad they kept that because in this day and age. That's one of the things that people would be like, well, that doesn't look very good for this, for, you know, modern times. But at least they kept that, and I appreciate that a lot, so. I think we both appreciate a kit bash when it's done with a certain creative zest. A lot of the old miniatures from Star Trek, they had to make a new ship. They had to change it. They had to do stuff to it to make it different enough. I'd say, like, seven Miranda variants. But some of them are actually quite interesting. There's, there's a value they've, they added. And Franz Joseph Technical Manual, like you say took these the seven shapes of a Connie and just reorganized them and made seven ships. It, it's not tremendously creative beyond the mix and match vibe for most, because that's all they had. This is taking that approach but saying we can actually make it different and yet being very in line with how they could have done it back then. And so I appreciate the old school feel of this, which for a show that's meant to be pre-TOS, the old school feel is, is important. So I think they did a really good job here. They could have made the deflector big, bold, glowing, purple, vibrating, resonating. No, it, it's a bloody classic dish done in a very cheesy, old-school way, and it fits really well. And I do like the way that the uh, the underside of the registry is illuminated. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that a lot. But the thing that got me about this is, and we'll talk about this more probably, but why did they curve the struts? I think if they just used the Connie struts but just had them straight out like that would have looked a thousand times better. And I would have absolutely loved this ship if that was the case. Mm. The way they curve like that, I mean, we're going to see other views in a minute or two, but I just don't, <clears throat> I don't understand that decision. <laughs> just wait for the authors and she'll be like, I love it. I love it. Wait and see, wait and see. The only thing I know from this view specifically is that I like how the registry texture is literally being sliced by the hull lines. Guys, move the texture like, I guess, ten foot because it's real scale. It's really bad because when you zoom in, it's just it's not like inset at all. It's just, uh Like like the point of that is to be seen. Don't add something where it makes it much harder to read or at least, whatever. Appreciated, dearie me. The next view though. And keep in mind, this is an ostensive kit bash of just the Stranger World Saucer and Nacelles. But I'm still relatively impressed with the, the unique vibe this is given. Th this is, I think, better than some of its parts. And I think, I actually think the curved Nacelles, at least in this view, we'll see later I feel, look nice. I don't think they look nice by any stretch, but they look better from this view. Um, I still don't understand the attachment points and why they're there. It just would have been better to have them attach on the top, but whatever. It's it's fine. It it's creative. It's 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 not just a Miranda where they just shoved a thing and the thing. You know. It feels it feels like artistic. Yes. Artistic for the sake of being artistic. Yes. It doesn't seem practical in the way of building a ship. Why would you curve your power conduits from your <laughs> your warp core? Curve them. Just put them straight out. Like. But anyway, regardless. Well, otherwise it'd be a Miranda. 
I, I guess there's a... No, it wouldn't, because there'd be no roll bar. It'd be different enough. Well, there are Miranda's about roll bars, Stuart. What? There are Miranda's about roll bars. I, I know that, but if even if they had them like come swept back a bit, like it, it would have been better than this, in my opinion. But you say you say that it's a, a kit bashy, and it is because the saucer is definitely the you know just the strange new worlds enterprise. The nacelles are beefed, are changed enough. Like I love the beefed up attachment points that kind of go all the way around. That's quite interesting. Oh, that's what they're doing. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. I didn't catch that. I knew it was different, but I couldn't catch why. So it's not oh. literally the exact same nacelle. I mean, it looks like the same nacelle has slid in these things. Yeah. Yep. 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 <laughs> like okay. Yeah, I was wondering, yeah, yeah. The next view, though, the top view, I mean, that's just a Discovery Enterprise also. Yep. And the back of the nacelles look exactly like the Discovery Enterprise nacelles. Yep. So yep. let's move on. So we're too <laughs> close together. I want to point that out. Uh, yes. The ne next view, though, is when we get into the trueness of it. Orthographically, top and side. Judge okay. ye now, Stuart. The side looks great. Ah, if if those had been straight, but I know they're not, because <sighs> you can see they're attached on the outer side, which means that they, from the front, they're going to look like they're inward, which I don't like. I just don't like that aesthetically. That's just wrong to me. But I love the way that deflector dish looks from the side. That looks fantastic, and the bulked up bottom section of that saucer, on point. Mm -hmm. The only and the only complaint I have from the top is. You're going to have a 2009 flashback, Samuel. Ryan Church Enterprise, those nacelles are way too close together. Please space them out. Yeah, It, it doesn't it, look bad in this case. Because yeah. it's not a Connie. There's yes. a secondary hull to screw it up. It looks okay. And then all, no problem. And there are Starfleet battleships that do have the nacelles specifically on the end. So this, isn't a, this is not a new design. Well, like, yeah, like the fast of the end or a class and stuff. Yeah. yeah, I didn't know if it was end or, but... Yeah, it, yeah. I think it's so like Andor. We got the Andor show now. It gives the Andor class a whole new meaning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I, I think the top view. I, mean, I, I, I really wish they'd change the saucer more. And honestly, if that, if that had a roll bar to the saucer, that could have kind of like give it a triple layer feel, like a much more fu like a function to it. But I think I'm really missing something at the back of the saucer to give it some more oomph. Maybe a shuttle bay. You know, some something that I think would would help to. Bottoms modified, back of the tops modified, and then the cells. It's not bad, but that that's where the top view feels very... It, it's a child's toy they've slapped into the glue. The side view has a lot of personality, actually. Uh, there's, there's, I think, a really good balance of bulk to the deflector chunk. It, it's just, just right. And that's a hard thing to get right, so I applaud them for that balance. It could have been bigger, it could have been razor thin. No, no, it was a good... Good balance. Yeah, my question is, where's the shuttle bay? I don't think there is one on this ship, which is weird. It's for, for any kind of Starfleet ship not to have secondary auxiliary craft. But, yeah, I mean, if, even from the side view, if you had extended the BC deck under the bridge there back further yep. and made, like, a small little shuttle bay, yep. I think that would have even balanced out yep. the way the, they bulked out the bottom. Yep. Like, it would have, you could do something more there is what I'm saying. Yeah, exa exactly. Like, even just on the line of the top view of those two darker grey on that yeah. line would totally be enough for a shuttle. Single shuttle, yeah. single bay. I think that would be really nice. Or, or two small bays with, with one shuttle each. Or even, like, yeah. a, a new shuttle pod. Because the shells are really pretty meaty in, in Stranger Worlds. But yeah, I think that would have been... And, and that could just be a, an add-on of geometry. You wouldn't need to redesign it. Just You could do it, just put a plug-and-play piece, etc. Um, but the front... And back view, Stuart. The big let ye be judged once again. Uh, and briefly, just keep in mind that this ship was was not... It's not the real model. It's the game re rebuild model. Front, uh, again, I like this deflector look. That's kind of cool. Um, but I hate the way those the cells curve in. If they had curved out and the struts were curved, I'd be a little more open. Because mm. they'd be spaced a little bit further apart. And mm. I would just prefer the straight struts, though, on an angle, honestly. But that being said, from the back, I don't mind it either. The saucer looks okay. For some reason, <laughs> curved struts look better from mm -hmm. behind. Mm -hmm. I just don't know why they attach them on the outer part. I, I just wish, even if they were curved the other way and they attached on the inner part, so they were kind of out. 
I think would we'll again do. be a huge improvement. Mm. I know something about mm. it. Something about it is just visually not appealing to me. Mm. Having those curves like that, it just does not make any kind of sense to me. Yeah, it's creative over logic. For the most part, it works quite well. I didn't. I don't know why I didn't quite factor and work out the 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 uh, defender's oval up until this view. Yeah, I didn't notice that either. I, 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 yeah, I feel like I should have, but I, it's like okay, cool. I, I really or, or or is it is it round and just pointing downwards slightly, perhaps? So it looks oval. It's an optical illusion, which is great. I mean, clearly the the, the piece below above it where it connects is obviously oval, so it all connects well. But I'm really I'm really missing the shuttle bay at the back of the bridge. It would add so much, I think, because you don't need the you don't need the uh, oh in the well, yes. But I, I I would like the separation so it's not just all chugged into one piece. But it's like you don't really need the the docking bay between the nacelles, uh, between the impulse engines that was never used. Like it's never been, just no one knows what it is, right? We know what it is. John and Scott know what it is, but just take that out and. But again, it was a kit bash ship, so they didn't have the time, or they didn't have the effort. They built loads of ships for the episode, so it's fine. Just uh, maybe, maybe do a refit, you know, a refit version. But the next shot's quite interesting, and actually, if you zoom in on that saucer or that deflector, that thing is round. It's not. It's not oval. I mean, the front view all. looks. The first view looks oval as well. But uh, if, you, if you zoom in, it's really weird because it's not, um, and it's not even a trick of the eye or anything like that. Um, I don't know. Who cares? <laughs> Oval or or round, it doesn't matter. Honestly, they both look good for the different reasons. So but yeah, and on a fun last shot, just kind of show it in a weird perspective. I think it works. As Kibashes go, it was it was sort of safe, but I think a good safe. Comment down below what you thought about this mm -hmm. design. Uh, what do you th do? You have it in Star Trek Online? If not, go try to get it. Mm -hmm. It is available. So by all means, go get it if you're interested. Uh, what do you guys think of it? Is it you know? different version of the Miranda. What do you guys thought? Comment down below. You know you know the routine. Um, and make sure you join the channel. Mm -hmm. If you're able mm -hmm. to, subscribe mm -hmm. to the channel and click the notification bell icon and join us for lives where you can come and talk to us in real time. Much like the comment section, only better. Because we answer back like right away. Mm -hmm. And if you have a, a debate topic, we love those as well. Challenge us and make us think we love that. You know, we're not setting our opinions. As we can see from this video, we're all been here to to break down, analyze, and first react. But in all those true details, you can see from this sort of uh, show we do. So thank you, Star Trek Online, for sharing these shots. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. So if you want to support us directly and letting us do more of this sort of video, because we love we love this sort of really deep dive breakdown, support us on uh, Patreon. That's monthly. Join in the channel on YouTube. There's a button called Join. Follow the instructions. Any amount a month would be amazing. Or super chatting on the lives. Again, really amazing. If you have a really I thought you really want to put forward, like with like you're stamping your foot on the ground, say, I think trees are green. Okay, great. Thank you for the five bucks. Thank you, sir, ma'am, whoever, you know, helps us out and it uh, gets you more shows. shows. That's right. So until next time, he is Commander Cockins. He is Captain Foley. We'll see you guys soon. Bye, guys.